Too often, I see reproductive health terms used incorrectly or imprecisely. Whether in oversight or on purpose, when medically inaccurate terms are used, they can fuel restrictions and add barriers to accessing reproductive health. So in this quick explainer, I'll walk through the process of when pregnancy begins. Let's start with the basics. The female reproductive system contains two ovaries that hold eggs. Each month, a mature egg leaves an ovary and travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. This is called ovulation. When a sperm and an egg fuse, this is called fertilization, which creates a zygote. This stage in the process is not when a pregnancy medically begins. Some people refer to this stage as conception. However, from a medical standpoint, conception occurs later in the process. Consider in vitro fertilization, or IVF, when mature eggs are collected from ovaries and fertilized by sperm in a lab. When the eggs are fertilized in the lab, pregnancy has not yet started. Fertilization is one step towards pregnancy, but medically, it is not yet a pregnancy. Once the egg is fertilized, it then travels to the uterus. Two things can happen when the fertilized egg arrives in the uterus. One, the egg does not implant in the uterus, pregnancy does not begin when this happens, and the fertilized egg eventually leaves the body during menstruation. It is quite common for fertilized eggs to not implant. In fact, up to half of all fertilized eggs do not implant in the uterus. The second possibility is that the fertilized egg implants in the uterine lining and pregnancy begins. Medically, this is called implantation. When a fertilized egg implants, the body begins to create pregnancy hormones to support the uterine lining. This is the hormone that is detected in a pregnancy test. Why is the pregnancy process so important? Some state laws, including bans on abortion, falsely define pregnancy as beginning at fertilization, even though medical science defines pregnancy as starting at implantation. Not using the correct definition of pregnancy has the potential to result in harmful policies and guidelines. For example, public officials could inaccurately treat contraception, such as the birth control pill, as abortion, and could restrict access to procedures like IVF or other assisted reproductive technologies. And some public officials have tried to make it harder to access certain contraceptives based on the false belief that pregnancy begins prior to implantation. It is vitally important, now more than ever, that we use accurate and consistent medical terms when discussing pregnancy, given the potential implications. Learn more at powertodecide.org slash facts.